OK, so your nice nanos and batteries just came in the mail. Now what? Let's go over the steps you should take to start using them. If you have a multimeter, you should use it to check the battery voltage and polarity. Usually the red wire is for positive and the black wire is for negative, but double checking that this is correct first is always a good idea. You simply need to connect the black and red multimeter wires to its ground and voltage, like I'm doing. Then set it to measure DC voltage. Always make sure that when you take out the battery from its package and remove the isolating tape, the two wires never touch each other. This is extremely important because if you create a short circuit in the battery, you will cause some serious damage. So even if you decide to cut the wires shorter, don't cut them at the same time, as your cutting tool could create a connection during the cut. And finally, you can connect the red to red and black to black and verify that on the multimeter you see the positive current. There it is, 3.72 volts, which is correct for my 3.7 volt battery. My final recommendation before wiring the battery is to use Milmax sockets for your microcontroller. Since a nice nano is quite expensive and you will also have a battery underneath it, it would be great to be able to remove it easily. These are Milmax sockets. You can buy them long, like this, or already cut to size. You will also need the male pins that I have already soldered to my microcontroller. They sell these in various thicknesses, but if you want the battery to fit underneath the nice nano, you should get the taller ones. I was able to fit the battery using this low profile socket, but there is a gap that I don't like. Ok, now we are finally ready to connect the battery. There are actually a few different ways to do this, and I'll go through all of them. The simplest way that will work with any PCB is to connect it directly to the Nice Nano. You should be able to see these two extra pads that the Nice Nano has near the USB port. This is where you can connect the two battery wires. Look for the tiny B- and B+, labels near those pads. They are telling you the polarity that the Nice Nano is expecting, so connect the positive wire of the battery to B+, and the negative wire to B-. Now, if we take a look at this PCB, we can see that it actually supports a power switch. If we connect the battery directly, this switch won't be able to cut the power for us. So what we want to do instead is to look for battery pads on the PCB. Here they are, near the 3.5mm jack footprint and of course the positive and negative are labelled. Speaking of 3.5mm jack, at the time of recording this video, ZMK Farmer does not support wiring split keyboards with a cable, so I would just remove the jack from the PCB if you are upgrading a wireless split keyboard. If your PCB supports a power switch, it should be the first thing you solder on it. For surface mount switches like this one, add solder to one of the PCB pads first, then heat up the solder and push the switch into it using tweezers. After it is fixed in place by one pad, you can easily add solder to all of the other. If the PCB has the switch footprint on both sides, I would solder it to the bottom so it doesn't get in the way of the other components. So, since the two pads are on the south side, I would just place the battery like this, with its wires facing south, and solder the nice nano over it. If the battery pads are on the north side, leave a little bit of space for the Nice Nano's USB port, because it won't be able to fit well over the yellow part of the battery. And that's it, after everything is in place it should look something like this. There are just a couple more things that I want to mention before ending the video. The first thing is that some PCBs let you use JST connectors. They look like this and let you easily unplug the battery from your PCB. You just have to solder the plug to the PCB and attach the other piece of the connector to the battery wires. The final thing that I want to add is that you can also solder the battery to the PCB by attaching the positive wire to RAW and the negative wire to ground, but I wouldn't recommend doing this because you have very little space to solder the wires. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.